get rid of the goddamn dragonling. Okay, fuck it. You know what? I'll just handle the demon. And you can see with my sp I, I do have a spell book on, so that's why I am taking some extra damage. But I feel like it's worth it. Um, especially when, y you know, like, I don't know how to explain it. But I feel like it's worth it because I heal more and I deal so much more damage. And most of the time, the creatures aren't hitting me physically. Like, occasionally they do. The only one that really I have to let hit me is the Hellfire. Other than that, I pretty much don't get hit by any serious physical attackers. Yep, that Dragonling was trying to run. Ooh. That was a nasty beam. Finally I get beamed by one. Not that I ever want that to happen, but really wasn't as bad as it could be though. I've they can hit for up to like uh, 1.4k and I have 1480 HP at full. So, you can see why I get a little skittish around them. Oh man, this hunt is something so really special. I'm amazed. Um, and I want to check out how we're doing. 13 demonic essences, just one dust. But 13 essences, that's not bad at all. I kind of want to check upstairs, just because I'm, I haven't been here in so long. This event hasn't been around in a while. Another guardian shield. Huh. <laughs> wow. My backpack is almost completely filled already. Um, I got to drop some empty pots, because I'm running low on cap. Okay, I'm going to go back up there and see what I can do. Okay, I think I have an idea. Ooh. If I can just kill this hellfire and hope the other one doesn't beam me like for like crazy amounts of damage again. God damn fire elemental. Get the fuck out of there. Let the hell fire come. There we go. Um, I might do a full tour of the mountain, but it's going to be dangerous for me to get back down. Once I get all the way up, I'm going to have to reroute and go from the bottom like I started. Nice. Got him while he was in Viz. Uh, wasn't tricking me. And we're going to just close this. I got to check my ring. Four minutes. Three hours and 22 minutes. Good. That's got quite a bit of time left on it. I don't okay so we got sev we've got lots of company and I just avalanche just to deal damage to it as well as get a little extra experience on the f fire elemental I mean all hell firefighters are like <clears throat> souped up fire elementals with like a demon soul in it, I guess. Okay, down he goes. 
Um, actually, at Fury Gate, I looted a royal helmet out of a dragon lord, and I was amazed because, for those of you who know, dragon lords are stingy as shit on loot. Let's see. What else we got over here? Oh, cool. Nice. Well, that was fun. Another guardian shield. Of course. At least they at least we got a magma co out of the um Oh boy. Out of the hellfire. And let's see, what's over here? Diabolic Imps, Hellfire Fighters. I gotta focus on the Hellfire. Um, I can Avalanche in the meantime and deal damage to him as well, but the hellfire so such a huge threat it just has to go as soon as possible you know and down he goes we get two small amethysts one minute on that i thought it said it dropped something but looks like i was mistaken um diabol gimp And I don't know if you guys have seen, they don't heal often, the imps, but when they do decide to heal, um, it's for a lot, like a lot, so, and I want to run back, back downstairs and make sure it's not, oh my god. For Christ's sake. And yeah, now I'm going to have to leave through the top. Oh well, I guess I'll just give you guys a tour of the mountain then. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go back down there because that's my favorite floor to hunt on. Wow, that's fast respawn though. Jeez, it was like I was just down there. 33 seconds. Okay. So, lots of creatures. Uh, mainly dragon lords and hatchlings. All right. Shit. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, down he goes. And I got to get a new ring on. But yeah, this is a really, really cool world change. And I think what I'll do, I might have to go all the way outside. I think I do. And um, when I do that, I will show you um, how the volcano looks now. Okay, Hellfire. Awesome, but I, got a f I found a perfect spot for him. Good. And unfortunately, the imp is on the opposite side, so I can't really do any damage to him with, like, an avalanche or anything. But we get a Fire Sword and a Wand of Inferno. And my wand finishes him off. That's nice. Cannot put any more objects in this container. What I'm going to do is take the stuff that's not worth much, like the Guardian Shields, because they are the val have the least amount of value, and just throw them up, to on, up into my main BP. What did he drop, anyway? Nothing? Oh, surprise, surprise. Oh, hello, imp. Imps. Mm. 
damn. Okay, good. They, see, like I said, they don't heal frequently, but when they do, they can really take care of themselves. Um, the other one just jutted off. I don't know if he healed up or not. Fuck. That was terrible. Making some mistakes. Please, nope, he did not heal at all. Got him. And let's see what's up here. Oh, yeah, it's just the regular dragons. I see how, like, crazy it progresses. It, They really don't give you uh, much of a warning that it's about to become incredibly dangerous, like Pits of Inferno dangerous. Um... Oh, and there's an imp in here with these guys? What? That is insane. That's cruel, even. Shit. Oh my god, there's another one. Really? Ooh, I just... Very nice. And down he goes as well. And we get a demonic essence. I don't know if the dragon dropped anything. I don't think so. No. And then up here we just have two little hatchlings. Just minding their own business. And uh, of course we have some fire devils and a fire elemental up here. Now I'm going to try to scale down the mountain. But it, you have to do it a different way than you normally would when um I, at least I think so when the lava is coming down it uh, but we're about to figure that out and wow that gave me a decent amount of experience I'm now 10% to uh, 268 so looking forward to that but yeah, you can see the lava in just encasing the mountain. Pretty cool. And I yeah, we're almost back to ground floor. So safety. Right there. Awesome. So now you guys know how to get um, to the top of the mountain where the easier stuff is. And maybe even to the bottom. I don't know. Well, well, I'll show you how to get to the bottom right now. Sorry. Because I am going back, for sure. I mean, I should restock, but I'll just use up what I have left and then go. Two minutes. I love Ring of Healings. They're so efficient. It just sucks that they disappear within, like, eight minutes. Uh, okay, so what you do is, you go up here, in the Bone Beast Island, strangely enough. Um, most people who are going to go to the area that I'm going to, just run through here. I don't know why, I just felt like killing them. Forgive me. Um, I'm going to examine a pox, that poison is annoying me. And I'm going to leave people some plate armors. And just for fun, we're going to see if we can skin some bone beasts. I don't even know what hardened bones are worth. I figure their value has decreased a lot since Rashumal because those creatures drop them like all the time. Actually, want to see something fun? Aw, oh, there wasn't nearly as many as there was when I did it off cam earlier. That one kind of sucked, actually.
There we go. At least we finished them off proper. That's got to be, yeah, 48 seconds. Okay. And, ooh, hardened bone. Cool. I know that I don't need them, but I'm just like OCD about shit like this. I don't know. Oh, there's not even enough room in there for it. That's okay. I'll leave it in there, I guess. Damn fresh kills. Okay. There we go. That actually... I did not expect them to line up like that. That was strange. Alright, I gotta get another one of these on for sure. And I need to make sure that I've eaten. And we'll see if we can get another. No such luck. Okay, so... You go down here where the necromancers, and this is also the way to Lich Hell. Um, for those of you who do not know. And... I w how amazing would it be if the necromancer was dropped like boots of haste or something too like just everything giving amazing loot uh someday I am gonna kill the uh bog raiders right here because it's easy and it's fun because they're extremely weak to physical and energy. And I just like using explosions and destroying them. And you do have a really low chance of getting uh, paladin armor. So, you know, that, that chance makes you want to do it a little more. Unfortunately, since I have icicles t uh, t t ugh, on my hotkeys... I, I replace icicles with my Xori Grand Flam hotkey because if I'm using ice, I typically don't have to use fire. Um, that's just what I found. But um, nice, that was cool. Fuck. Yeah, I really need to take it off target. I had it like that because I was hunting Ghastlies. And it's a pain in the ass to keep, like, clicking on them while, um, while you're running them and trying to get your waves and beams off and watching your cooldowns. Ooh, a small ruby somewhere. Thinking this one. Yep, cool, we'll take that. Everything counts, right? Oh look, another plate armor. We'll leave that for some traveler who can actually fucking carry it. Alright, so. You just head southeast here. Through all the dragons. You know, or you can fight them if you are so inclined. I really don't feel the need to because obviously I've got bigger fish to fry. Let's see. Demons. Ooh, I'm 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 almost at 2000 um kills remaining exactly. That's crazy. But this is a nice little quick bit of experience, so what the hell? Okay, three and three hours, good. 
Now, do you guys know of any amulets other than, like, a dragon necklace, which constantly goes down because of the burn, that would help me with the fire damage I experience from these guys, the Hellfire Fighters? And the risks that they pose to me? Um, if Because I personally... I haven't se like I know there's new amulets and stuff, um, but the ones I saw I think they protected from like earth and other shit. Okay, where'd he go? Nope. No. Got him. And another guardian shield. I don't know what we got in here. Okay, piece of hellfire armor. And I'm, yep, good. Just stay in the corner so I can pot up and don't have to waste SDs. And it's not necessarily waste, obviously I'm profiting a lot. But, <clears throat> I and I usually SD them regardless, just for the simple fact that uh, I like to um, boost my experience per hour, you know? Okay, this is not happening. That can happen. That would have been very uncomfortable. And I don't know if that's his summon. Nope. I knew there was a couple that naturally spawned there, so... Just felt like I'd make sure... Oh, that paralyzed. And his haste. Alright, time to switch to icicles, because one or two more, and he's going down. And the demon horn. And it's nice they drop demon horns really frequently now, too. Um... Because before they were super rare, but they were only worth 1k to the NPC and had no, like, practical value. So, I don't know. Where did the... Okay, there it is. Scary fucking thing. Oh, hello guys. We were just, you know, talking it out like adults. Wow, another one. Okay. How many do I have now? Let's see. Eight. Eight guardian shields so far. Whatever. That's what happens when you hunting shitload of diabolic imps. Got him. And we get a blazing bone and a strong mana potion. So that's nice. And awesome, I just saw my ring go off, so that's great timing. And we got an imp, that's fine. Shit. That, however, is not. Because, well, I put up the wall, so it'll be just me and the demon. Spending some private time. But... It sucks because I did get that one imp to red, and I'm hoping he doesn't get time to heal up during this fight. Come on. Thank you. I knew you could do it for me, Fire Elemental. I had faith in you.
And we get two great mana potions, so that's nice. You know, continues the hunt for a little longer, and we're up to 91 plats. Let's see how close we are to leveling. 9%, very awesome. Um, and I imagine my energy wall is about to go down. And there's one of the imps. Maybe that is the one that I was beating on, I'm not sure. And there's a Hellfire Fighter. And just one free go. Bam. Not even my wand actually did the trick. Surprisingly enough, they're pretty resistant to energy. And we take him out as his, as he runs away and the Hellfire Fire charges in. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I never see anyone hunt here when this event is happening, but I think it's awesome, and I think that the, since there's such a variety of creatures and, like, difficulties on each of the floors, that, um, you could, so depending on your vocation and how well you know the game, you could definitely take advantage of one of the floors and then no one's going to kick you out or anything. Like, most people probably don't even know this is happening right now. Um, By the way, it doesn't happen throughout the entire game. It just happens per server. So, just because it's happening in Rubera does not mean it's happening in whatever game world you're playing in. I mean, it might be, coincidentally, but, yeah. 